932, how do you do? <laughs> Welcome back in to our a little uh, session here with uh, getting your answers for our Facebook question. Uh, what would you advise the Clemson folks after that loss? Give them some tips of advice. Uh, here's somebody that says, I'm glad LSU beat them and put the championship back in the SEC. Okay. All right. Donna Murray says, so extremely proud of them and honored to be a fan. Looking forward to another great season next mm -hmm. year. We'll be back. Yeah, all right. We got some real good advice. Anybody but Clemson. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got, got some that don't like them too much. Uh, great win, LSU. Clemson next year. Uh, okay, maybe so. Okay. Read the names, too. They want to hear who said them. Diane Close said, great win, LSU. Clemson next year. Uh, Donna uh, Murray says, uh, extremely proud of them. There you go. Lynn, Lynn Fowler. Fowler. Yep. You go ahead and read that Lynn one. Fowler said, all in. Hold your head up, boys. Y'all did amazing. And yeah. just know your fans are very proud of you. God bless you all. Okay. Still the best college football team in the state. James uh, Birchmore, Birchmore says said that. that. I like that last name. Daniel Quick. Yeah. I wish my last name was Quick. Jack Quick. Yeah, uh, Jack Quick. All right. Let's see. It was good until the end. Can I get uh, 10 of those rag shirts sent to my home <laughs> from a Gamecock fan? They'll sell them anyway over at, uh, what is it, uh, not Dick Sporting. Academy. Group. Academy. Mm -hmm. Beverly Pruitt says, thanks for another outstanding season. Can't wait till it's football season again. Six weeks till the spring game. So there That's you know, hard that to believe. Six weeks uh -huh. is what, middle of March? Yeah, that usually no, eight. Usually, first of March. Yeah. Usually That's April is when the spring game. Uh, Michelle Steep said, heads up, y'all stood strong. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Your uh -huh. fans love you through thick and thin wins and losses. And there's always next year. Well, we mentioned on this, uh, Teresa says, proud of you, how you handled yourselves, pure class. Pure and class. And they are good sports. Yep. I think he drilled that into those kids. Not that they didn't have it when they got there. Right. Mary Taylor yep. said, somebody had to win, somebody had to lose. You did your best. We are very proud of you. Yep. Uh, you have no reason to be sad, Debbie says. Uh, you had a great season. You always give God the glory for it, and so on and so forth. Yeah, Joyce, Joyce Mathis up. said, great season, proud of you all. You are great guys, and you have a great coach who loves you all. Yeah. That was what he said after the game. You remember he said, don't matter. Ain't no scoreboard going to tell me. <laughs> He's like, I love y'all anyway. So. Yeah, congratulations on, on the great job you did do, Karen Caps. Mm -hmm. Hold your head up. Great game, Chantel. Donna Miller, you made us proud, boys. Great yeah. season. And Frank Hayes, you know Frank, uh -huh. our buddy, a comedian and uh, guy. He, he comes on our show frequently. He says, uh, some days you lose. Move on to next year. There you go. In caps. Thanks, Frank. Move on, and we'll leave you with this one. Debbie Allen says, well, y'all, <clears throat> I'm really bummed that it wasn't our Tigers, but I can still congratulate LSU. Those boys worked for it as hard as Clemson did and deserve the recognition. That being said, our Tigers played hard all year and had an outstanding season. Nothing to hang their head about. There you go. That is very I like true. It. I like it. Would you like our trivia answer? Yes. I haven't had time to think about it yet, but you tell me. What major, there you go, what oh. major U.S. city is named after a vice president? Dallas. Oh. He was like a congressman. He was from Philadelphia. I don't know, I don't know why they chose his name, but uh, he was a senator and a congressman and was the mayor of Philadelphia. Dallas was his last name. And obviously a vice president. He's, he was VP, and I don't know who the president was. I wrote it down, but I forgot. It was in the uh, mid-1800s. Dallas, Texas. All right. Namesake. Now we have something else to Google here in the... Yeah, well, that's <laughs> during, how I found out about that. During the block. Very Jim Marcus, yep, standing by. We're going to be talking to the Milltown players and see what's on their stage coming up. You you know if they have a show, it's going to be so good. They put on <laughs> great stuff down there. And guys, it is a triple threat, ladies and gentlemen, a Monster Jam triple threat series coming to the Bon Secours Wellness Arena next month with the mix of action and excitement in six different competitions. We're giving away tickets this morning. Some of y'all were asking on our Facebook page if we had them. We do. Head on over to yourcarolina.tv and then click on Monster Jam for your chance to win.